Hello everyone, my name is Granisha Chisholm and today I will be speaking with you guys a little bit on listening effectively and business leaders of ethical integrity. Listening is understanding and understanding is listening. When you read, speak, or write, you are basically listening. Everyone listens different. Some listen to understand and some don't. This doesn't mean that you don't have the capabilities or opportunities or the abilities to listen effectively. So, when you are listening, and in order to listen effectively, you have to like build interest into what you are listening to. So like if the teacher is teaching or if your boss is telling you something or anything, you just have to get interested in whatever they're telling you and that's how you listen. Um, I have this thing to where if I'm not interested, I won't listen. But if I know that it's something important, and I know that I have to listen. I, it's important to listen. If someone is talking to you, it's very respectful to listen to them properly. You always want to listen. Let things go in through your ears and get into your head and stay. However, though, in this subject, we are referring to business leaders. All leaders should focus on ethical integrity. All leaders, not just business leaders. Um, Integrity is determined to be the key criteria in determining success. Those leaders who focus on ethical integrity tend to focus on doing the right thing so that they can keep their organizations and businesses ran well and up to par so they can keep their businesses operating right and everyone be successful. It's a helpful workplace, a helpful environment, and even at home. And even though sometimes they're forced to go through things or they struggle with things, they still tend to focus on ethics. Everyone should do the right thing. Working ethically produces an ethical environment and a better environment. Everyone should work ethically. So business leaders focus more on ethical integrity, right business, because they want to make their business and organizations be very successful. Stay tuned for the short clip showing how you have sometimes distinguished between listening effectively and how things could be better. Oh my god, I'm so tired and stressed. I know you're not on the phone. See, this is what I'm talking about. Nobody never try to sit down and listen to nothing I have to say. And you're still on the phone. Okay, what, what what is your problem? Why are you so exhausted? I'm tired, man. I want to quit. I want to quit working. I want to work. focus on my businesses and school and just... I'm tired. I don't need nobody to keep telling me, pray. I know to pray, you know, I, I pray, but I just need to focus on my businesses and you just school and just be done with my job. But nobody want to hear me out. Nobody want to hear me explain what I have to talk about. Don't nobody want to hear. Well, I mean, if you know that God here, some, well, the, the key word, the key thing is to pray. I mean, Brandy. sometimes you got to let things go and just pray about it. I already know to pray. Right. I want somebody to just listen at what I have to say. Nobody don't never want to hear me out. Understand. Why you always got to say pray? Yo, like, I know to pray. I mean, because it worked. I mean, it worked. It worked for me. I mean, all the Stop! Time. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. You just saying that so you can end the conversation. So okay. you can get back on the phone. Okay, 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 okay. I got Are you going to listen? Yes, I'm going to listen. So, so like I said, I want somebody to encourage me and to mm -hmm. tell me that they'll be up. Right, I'm listening. I'm, I'm listening. See, this was wrong. Okay, okay. I, People always in their cell oh phone. My God. I'm listening. You gonna listen? Yes, I'm gonna listen. I'm listening. So I want somebody to just be to be there for me and tell me that they're gonna encourage me. Right. Or and to keep going, you know, that I just won't be left alone. Like I won't keep feeling like I'm alone. I keep feeling like I'm working for other than just me. I right. want somebody that's gonna be there to listen and hear me out, hear my problems. Right. Ask me how my business plan is, what I'm doing in school. Somebody ask me how my day going. It's right. just, I'm just tired. Like, nobody don't want to hear me out. Everybody just keep going about their day. Nobody don't want to understand what it is that I have to right. talk about. I understand. I understand where you're coming from. But you have to pray. You really have to pray about it.
everything you go did through. Did you really just say that again? I already know to pray, dude. See, you won't listen. You didn't say pray if you're trying to end the conversation so you can get back on that phone. No. I already know to pray. Oh, my God, yo. See, it's not always a thing that we don't know how to listen. We just don't try. Some people go through different situations where we all just have to focus on hearing someone out. Don't just listen and let one go in one ear and come out the other one. And then as far as in business leaders of ethical integrity, they have to go through so many listening situations because so much is going through their head. Some people telling them to do right. Some people telling them to do wrong. And sometimes it be kind of in between. But that's not the point. If you listen effectively and understand things that you've listened to, Nine times out of ten, you will be successful. Thank you, and I hope that this video helped you in some way.